Hey everybody, it's Jason and I'm joined with Jeremy from J. Raffinan Photography out here at Stanley's Los Angeles Comic Con to do a camera lens battle. So today our contenders are the latest and greatest 24-70 f2.8 lenses from Sony and Canon. And the reason why Jeremy's here today is because he'll be shooting with both of these cameras, the Sony a7R2 and the Canon 5D Mark III. So let's go ahead and have you introduce yourself to our viewers. Sure. My name is Jeremy, and I'm a professional photographer. I've been shooting since 2009 with the Canon lineup exclusively. And uh, I'm a regular Anime Expo photographer, one of the main photographers for the past four years. It's really exciting for me to see how the uh, Canon stacks up with the Sony, because I've heard a lot of great things about the technology in the Sony and how it plays just as nicely, if not better, than a full frame or just even the Canon lineup in general. So I'm really excited to be here. All right, cool. It's going to be a great experience. So hopefully this will give you guys uh, a good idea how well the Sony a7R2 and the 24-70 G Master performs with a Canon as a benchmark camera. So let's go ahead and capture some events. Sounds good. Let's do it. So we started off the day with Jeremy getting acquainted with the a7R2 for about an hour before we actually did any side-by-side -side shooting. Oh, it's recording. <laughs> Oops. Oh, interesting. Oh, I just took an, accidentally took a picture. <laughs> All right. Time to, let's, let's get started. All right, let's go. All right. So far, I'm really liking this camera. It's super fast. And it, it's, it's really easy to capture images, whether it's from, from the LCD screen, which I'm totally not used to with my Canon. And I like how the viewfinder is electronic, so you can see the images as they are about to be taken, as opposed to the Canon where you're kind of guessing. Uh, it's really different, so it's a good different. Oh, Jigglypuffs, yes. All right, one, two, and three. Beautiful, thank you so much. And one nice and wide, three, two, one. Nice, thank you very much. Three, two, one. Now that the introductory period is over, let's see how both of these cameras with their respective 24-70 f2.8 lenses square off in the battlefield. And a three, one, two, three. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Can I get a photo of you, please? It's, it's genius. Okay. What a cosplay. Now it's time for us to change the stage and move on to the exhibit hall where the dim lighting can pose a bit of a challenge to the cameras. At this point, Jeremy will be shooting freely with either systems instead of swapping so frequently. <gasps> Cat bus, can I get a picture of Cat bus, please? Ah! Okay, let me bump the ice a little bit because it's super dark in here.
Get a little side profile. We're gonna have to get the entire sh shot of the body. And that is gorgeous. 150 for the second and F4. To get a shot of you like this with your back because it says Daft Punk on it and it just looks back towards me, nice. Three, two, one. One thing I do like about this that I notice as well in the cannons is that this is this takes really good uh, dynamic range of the shadows and the highlights. And so it captures a lot of detail and I can imagine that with such a higher megapixel count of 42, uh, there's a lot to play around with in post. So I'm looking forward to that. The Sony uh, tracks a lot better with the optical stabilization. So even if I'm shooting at 1 60th of a second, I'm getting really nice sharp photos. Uh, but when it comes to the 5D Mark III, I just shot a picture of a Beetlejuice cosplayer and the vertical shot, more in focus, but the horizontal shot of her just zoomed in a little bit more, it is a little blurry, it's a little shaky. So. Uh, I'm gonna try to be a little bit more stable this time around and see later on how they can how they stack up. So Okay. Three, two, one. Okay, one, two, three. Now it's time for us to review the photos at a nearby hotel but not without taking some few outdoor shots first. All right. All right, over here we have the first one. is of a cosplayer dressed up as Scorpion. Eye is like super sharp and focused, right? Yep. Really clear, really clear. And this is one of the first shots I took of, of the morning. So right out the gate, the Sony performed really well. Nice. I liked this one because uh, it, it Partly because of the character being like kind of a more darker, moodier character, uh -huh. the despite it being bright outside, I like the shadows that were cast on him. So Very that's cool. why I chose that photo. Moving on to the third one. Wow, looks like Rebel Rebel Steampunk outfits. Mm -hmm. Really good demonstration of the different the colors going on, mm -hmm. um, the sharpness and all the details on their outfits, especially the vests and the glasses too. It was really shine for the Sony. Uh, this one did really well in the exhibit hall. It's a lot darker in there, but the Sony captured a lot of the, the fine shadows uh, in, the, in the blacks of their outfits. And you can still see kind of the reflections in their eyes as well. So uh, lots of good action happening in the background. Number five, this was actually a League, mm -hmm. League of Legends cosplay that was happening right outside the Staples Center. Uh, really good, really sharp, uh, really good color with the hair going on. Um, and she also had a good pose for us as well. Okay, all right, got Harley Quinn. Harley Quinn. Mm -hmm. uh, comparison to the, the Sonys, when I, when I shot this, I noticed that there was a, in the, for the cannons, a lot more contrast here. Mm -hmm. I think right off the gate. This was my second favorite shot for the cannon. Yeah, I like this one, Can't this one's bust. great. Always good, the family together. Um, this this is, is a very spontaneous shot. Very. Mm -hmm. This was one of our first shots walking into the exhibit hall for the first time. Mm -hmm. uh, so that was really cool. You can see a lot of the shadow detail um, in the kids. Uh, their faces in the cat bus, and then you can see a lot of the highlights around the, the parents. Mm -hmm. And so um, it was uh, good, good lighting overall, despite uh, the low lighting this is level. Great, yeah. yeah. Nice Daft Punk. I actually like this shot when I was like doing behind the scenes with you. Yeah. The really good, really good eye. Thank you. With the Thank you. posing and all of that. Yeah. Sometimes uh, it's for cosplay shots. You don't have to get like full frontal shots yeah, all the yeah. time. It's always nice to see the details, like the That's the great. back where it says Daft Punk. Details, uh, the LED light, uh, spinning fan type of thing that shows start. Um, the headphones, the details in the oh, light. Yeah, 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 I yeah. see it, yeah. The details in the shoes and the, the apparatus around here. Uh, really all came together and the, the way the Canon captured it in, in the low light of the exhibit hall, it's pretty good. No, nothing's blown out, you can see all the details uh, in all the whites of it. It's very clear, very sharp. This is a shot that I chose because it's uh, it's an overall environmental shot. Uh, based on my experience, I usually like to capture what's in the moment and not just cosplayers, not just uh, not just small things. And this was a really key moment because we have someone signing a poster, okay. and that's a big thing here. Comic yeah. Let's see some of the comparisons. All right. Now, right off the gate for the Sony, you can see it's a little bit darker versus the Canon captures a little bit more brightness, mm -hmm. but the Sony's it feels like it has a little bit more of an even tone all around. Mm -hmm. 
the, the Canon. Looks like they're both pretty sharp as well. You can see the little details on the, uh, the, the lining of the coat in front. You can, see the, you can see a little bit more detail on the gold, I feel like. Maybe mm -hmm. it's because it's brighter. Overall, if you, can, if you can adjust it in post, these are almost identical. The red does, and this is a classic Canon, the red is actually a lot more deeper okay. on the Canon that's side what, than it is on the Sony side. Yep. And these are very similar settings, very as, similar close, as close as possible. Same ISO, aperture, aperture. shutter, yes. and all of that, right? Okay. Uh, yes, the only difference I really think would be the auto white balance on both of them. Okay. So the Canon and the Nike, I think the, the Canon and the Sony do, do a pretty good job of capturing the white balance. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Maybe. So uh, yeah, this is, uh, the Canon seems slightly a, a bit out of focus, but yes. probably user error right there. Probably user error, which kind of is a testament to the technology in the Sony. It's a lot easier to capture the focus, when there's, uh, especially with the available light in the hall. Okay, very cool. Actually, you know what, looking, just, you know, you pulling it up, it just looks like they're almost identical. I can't tell the difference between this one. Yeah. Yeah. As a matter of fact, I think the Sony shines in the highlights and for this one better. Mm -hmm. So you can see a little bit more detail on her face right here, as uh -huh. opposed to here is a lot more shadowy. Oh, okay. wow. Very interesting. And maybe in a shot of an object inside okay. the exhibit hall. Definitely. Let's see what the differences are. Deeper reds, mm -hmm. as of course. Um, I, I like the tone of the, the wood mm -hmm. in this, on this, the more one shot with the Sony. It's more natural. All right. And there's less, again, the, the evenness of the Sony actually helps with the light around the keys as opposed to Canon, where it's kind of a little bit more washed out, so you can't see as much of the detail in the keys in the Canon. Mm -hmm. All right, Jeremy, is there anything else you would like to add? Yeah, I noticed that in um, bringing both image, or images from both cameras into post, there wasn't really a lot that needed to do. So straight out of the camera, these images looked really well, actually. Uh, apart from some minor uh, highlights and shadows and some exposure that I needed to do, if you basically gave me raw images, um, and masked all the numbers and everything, I almost wouldn't be able to tell which image I was editing. So right out of the camera, these images look great, uh, and I actually wouldn't mind shooting either. So, mm -hmm. Awesome. Well, all right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully this video has provided a lot of useful information if you guys are considering to buying any of these cameras or lenses. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up, and you can follow me on my social medias at Jason V Media and Jeremy. At Jay Raffadan. Cool. And uh, if you guys want to see more from Jeremy or, you know, these kind of lens battle, leave us a comment down below. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you in the next video.